Keith down in Jackson. Hi. Hey, Keith. Hey, I just had a, uh, a quick comment and then also a question. Um, comment, I, I wanted to uh, say something about you were talking about um, ants earlier and how to, how to kind of control ants. Um, and I just wanted to uh, mention that something I've done in the past, I'm actually from the Northwest and we had a lot of ant problems up there. Something I've done in the past is I did a mixture of um, borax and corn sugar or like corn syrup mm -hmm. um, and did just like equal parts of that kind of mix up a little slurry and I'd put it in a put it in a lid or something and put it out you know wherever my my problem with the ants were the ants would almost immediately flock to that take it and by the next day the entire ant colony uh, was gone so the great thing about borax and doing corn syrup or I've even made it with like simple syrup you know mixing sugar and water is that it's totally non-toxic. There, no, there are no chemicals involved that will hurt any animals or, or even your plants or anything. Mm -hmm. So, borax, sugar, awesome way to control ants. Um, well, second, well, yeah, what did you say? Sorry. I was just going to say thanks for that information. I'll certainly try it because I have an ant problem too, like everybody <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah, try it. Um, borax uh, is, I can't remember the name of the mineral that it, that it actually is, but borax is the most common uh kind of brand for it to buy um, uh, and then also I'm wondering I want to uh, I want to grow some tomatoes but I have really lousy <laughs> sandy soil that I'm discovering is is a, is a problem here and I'm wondering what you suggest for uh, growing tomatoes you can never beat a good generous amendment of organic matter compost of any sort and animal waste uh, that has been composted tomatoes really do respond to um, compost amended soil especially if you have a Dan in your area I imagine you have a more sandy soil don't you that's what he was saying correct yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, yes add plenty of organic matter and if you can get a source of goat manure sheep manure or rabbit manure they are just like little pellets of uh, organic slow release fertilizer might be something okay. you might have to work on the soil for a season before yeah. you plant the tomatoes you know for next season possibly I'm uh, just thinking and also and Keith, how about, yeah how about like growing potted tomatoes is that well you have to have a well amended uh, soil to, to yeah. the you can't just take good garden soil and put it in a bucket and expect to grow a tomato in it you have to have a well amended and they have a big root system yes you can yeah. grow smaller varieties of tomatoes in uh, say a five gallon size container but you really need to have it well amended and if you amend your garden soil I've heard people say I'm gonna amend my soil once and for all there's no once and for all. It's continually breaking down and being absorbed and digested, and, and you, you need to work on that soil year after year. Mm. All right. Okay. Good. Well, thank you very much. And, 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 of course, a soil test is an always a yes, good idea yes. you know and how you make your if you have a garden plot how you get your soil test is you don't just pick one little part of the garden and pick up a handful of soil and send that in you need to go to seven eight nine places around the garden dig down six seven inches and get a, a, a good spoonful all of those different places mix all that together and that's what you send in to Clemson Extension for your soil test to get about in. one pint of soil uh, of that of that mixture from mixture. various spots in the garden there. Right. Yeah, because I, I, we've talked about that with other gardeners on the show. People will get one little scoop out of one little part of the garden and send it in and, and wonder. And <laughs> wonder why this soil it, sample didn't, didn't tell them what they had in their whole garden. Exactly.